What's going on guys? Well, you're back with some anime ninja, so let's get into this today. We're gonna be checking out the new events and uh, Yeah, some of the new stuff that they added. I guess we can start with just the regular Stuff that we normally do so we have the ten tails revival which is gonna help a little bit if you are gonna be spending anything uh, Treasure hunt stuff like that for top it up. We have the flash shell which normally I believe has uh, 50 I think or is it 60 percent off? I'm not too sure, but currently it's 70% off. So like the potency was good to buy. I bought one yesterday, which was only, I think 600. Um, you can use coupons. So just because it says gold there, I really wish I would just put coupon slash gold or something. And then of course we have the elite rune, which is only 600. I'm thinking about buying that. Uh, fairy, which I'm probably gonna buy for only 450. Uh, for the crystal, I don't think I need. It is only 600 for 20. Let me check how many I have. I'm probably not gonna buy that one. Um, depending on how many I have, because if I do have to, nah, I almost have 400. We're good. Uh, we'll buy this because it's pretty good price. Uh, this we'll buy because we do need to get our pets up, and uh, it's only 100 for 600. Not that bad. I mean, it's only what 600. I do. Get a little bit of coupons back as well as the boxes and uh, we do also have the happy scratch which of course is just for silver unless you're going to be topping up uh, value buying stuff like that which are going to be for all of the top up we do have this as well which they still have a little 10. Let's just switch that up and put pets or characters in there. Um, so if you want to spend a ton of gold there you go. But here is the gem rush which is going to be helping me out a lot if you guys are wondering why we should be able to get quite a bit. Uh, it does end on the 28th so we do have a ton of time to build up a ton of these. I think I'll only be able to get two because um, they're 10 apiece so I guess it depends on how many points I actually get but we do have gold packs which I currently need gold last time I didn't so this time I do, we have 500. I'm hoping to at least get two of these, which is only 20 points. If I do get more, that'd be perfect. But that's gonna be a thousand, no matter what, cause you get 500. So if I get more, that'll be perfectly fine. But I'm hoping to get about a thousand to bring me back up to eight. And uh, you do need 20 to scratch. Currently have six, you get three a day. Uh, I mean, three a day, six a day. And then uh, we do have a ton of times, so it depends on how many you scratch because you can get like 5 points. You can get 10 points, you can get 20, I mean it just depends on how lucky you get on this. So um, last time I only got 2, so I'm expecting to only get 2 on this time. And that should give me a thousand. And then of course we do also get the coupons from this as well. So I'm going to be spending those to buy like the flash shell stuff, plus I get 200 a day. And then we also have... Uh, the Will of Fate, which is going to give us 150 here, 90 on the other ones. So, spending your coupons on the um, Flash Shell is probably pretty good. Just wait for something you need, buy it. Plus, you also get a little bit of coupons back. Depending on how much you spend, you'll get some of the Jade and stuff like that. Uh, this one I'm not too worried about because we're probably not going to get nothing in it. But, um, yeah, those are the events. Gem Rush, happy about that. Uh, Will of Fate, eh, it's it's okay for coupons then you can use for flash sale and then of course we'll get some back here let me see how many i need I need to spend almost a thousand we'll get back 140. um i do have a ton of boxes for coupons i have 15 currently so 15 times 200 but uh i'm not really gonna open those i'm just looking at the amount i have i have 5,000, so really not that big of an issue of spending a little bit and then of course we all probably you're waiting for this one which is the dungeon i'm just gonna make a separate video on it uh you can go watch it i don't know if i'm gonna put commentary on it but this thing is insanely hard depending on your team um i only got to floor nine i'm flo i'm stuck on the boss which is 10 and uh it's because of the counters the counters on these guys are insane they hit back for so so much it's insane like the support that I have usually if they get like two or three four counters they get killed instantly uh, the assaulters are a little bit better and then the vanguard is just a tank so I don't know maybe I'll switch some stuff around and try some different sets on different characters or jades because um, the final Sasuke has 11 million HP plus when it goes into battle it does have a lot more and then uh, 
of course we have the ability of the heal and stuff like that so yeah I might try to build him up um Hidon and Kakuzu also hit quite a bit but uh, yeah that last floor is just destroying me so I do have to try quite a bit of stuff to get past it that's the one I'm stuck on currently most people are get past this or get stuck on this and then that's it unless you're like really 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 strong with like 20 plus million BP you'll probably make it to the next set of floors and they are sets of 10 so it is gonna be really hard I don't know what the highest currently is I don't know if anybody's made it to floor 100 but uh, we do also have the auto loot once you've completed the number of floors um, I don't know if you had to be VIP I'm currently VIP 6 so I get it so I'm pretty sure if you're VIP Maybe they give it to you for free. I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure if you can get past it, you'll be able to do it. And then, of course, we're going to be getting the Awaken S ability. Now, you guys don't know what this is for. It's for the new uh, S ability. So if you go down here into S ability, um, the last one we had was the Fire Scroll. And, of course, as you can see, I do have it maxed. And you need a ton to get to it. So if you do have uh, the dungeons unlocked and you don't have all of this unlocked, not going to be that helpful, but considering the amount you need, you probably just start saving them now. And by the time you get there, you should be good. Do have a ton of S ability already. And then you go to the new scroll, which is the Earth scroll. And as you can see, you do need to go to the dungeons for this. Uh, there are new skills. I'm guessing there are way more scrolls as well. So be prepared for that. We do need 320,000 S ability and 30,000 awakened S ability to achieve the first one so I mean the three or the 30,000 is gonna be insanely hard to get unless you're really strong and manage to make it to like 20 30 floors in so currently I only have 800 that's for two days so I mean you should be able to get it realistically within like a month um, and you do have to do that for the first four and then you come to the skill which is attack all enemies to deal 100% damage and a percent increase on all allies dodge rate by 10% for one round the limit can be exceeded so that's basically saying if dodge is at 90% it can be exceeded by the extra 10 so 100% dodge rate and uh, the amount you need on this is 800,000 S ability 60,000 S ability so the S ability you need to get to the first one is going to be insane and it only keeps getting more and more crazy from there so 40 for the next four and of course s ability as well i have almost uh, two mil so the s ability i'm not too worried about plus we get a ton of it it's just the awakened one depending on how hard how far you get into the floors and then we have the first or first skill second skill attack all enemies to zone 100 percent damage uh percent reduced by all enemies fury by five points so I'm guessing you reduce their fury by 5 points. I'm not too sure exactly what it's trying to say there. But, I mean, the amount you need for this is insane. 800,000, which is okay. 80,000 S ability. And then you have a next set of 4. And I'm guessing after you get through these, there'll be another scroll. Um, I don't know how many scrolls we had before, but we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 five different ones so maybe they added in even if they do half that's three more scrolls plus a ton of new abilities and or maybe they're just gonna be awakening some no I was gonna say maybe they're just doing these over again but stronger no it doesn't look like that or maybe they are but we'll see maybe we'll get another five maybe another three I don't know but uh, yeah, that's the new dungeon. I'm currently stuck on the last one. Although I'm pretty sure I can just play around with some stuff because I'm getting pretty close. It's just the counters that destroy me. The, the counters in that are just insane. So yeah, we're gonna have to work on uh, figuring out what could go where, who we're gonna have to power up. Um, the heals do save us a little bit, but considering like this guy, if he gets countered two or three times, he's dead because he doesn't have that much HP. So we're gonna have to work on that. Uh, Pain and Conan do survive a lot more considering their speed's a lot better. They're just overall a lot better. Ida and Kakazu as well. And then final Sasuke just tanks everything, but he's not strong enough 
to do what I want. So even though he has 90, 90, 90, uh, we gotta work on his crit. We gotta work on his hit. We gotta get that over 200. We gotta get his crit to 90 and S tax already max. I just got this character, so we're working on that. We're working on getting his bloodline done as well, and then just overall getting stuff done. So those are the new events. Make sure you get the gold, and then uh, the dungeon video will be out a little bit later. But that's going to be about it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll talk to you guys later.